So what you guys just saw uh, is uh, the Nexus 6P boot loop issue. So I, I'm getting this problem uh, from so long time. So I just thought to give you guys a quick update. I was just waiting the day I found this again. So it's not happening each day. So I just restarted my device because it's so long time I haven't done restart. I was doing. So uh, it happens uh, from the uh, for four to five minutes, I guess. It was seventh or eighth time. I'm still going to reboot boot loop. So you can see. It just now shows uh, rebooting. So I just uh, you can see everything is just reached up. You can see nothing is going on. So that is the main problem, uh, you know, happening uh, with this boot loop issues. And actually, there is a lawsuit filed uh, against both the Huawei and uh, uh, this Google. And each of the company they they are just trying to, you know, playing a blame game. Uh, Google is saying there is no problem with the device. So you can see uh, there is a Nexus 6 p bootload problems triggered. It's a class action complaint here. So you can check out the more details here. I will just show you guys on the here. Even actually I've got many comments from people. So you can see, uh, can you do something about how to fix that? So since I have the 6 p so I just to give you guys an update. What is that problem in case you, are, you don't have Nexus 6 You can see again freeze up now. That's why the main reason is that I have stopped using my Nexus 6 p because I have to do uh, so many times reset because that doesn't solve the problem. You know, just keep on doing all I did, just reboot, nothing else, device are working fine. So there's so many details, class action filed on, even the devices that are under warranty, Google is not doing anything here. They are just, you know, just leaving that way and everybody just leaving that way. So this is a problem happens and I'm really not sure how I'm gonna fix it. Uh, might be another reset and uh, this is in the Android O preview, so it's not a big deal for me since I'm not using uh, as a primary phone. You can see this is what is going on. And so guys, this is about the update and also I really don't know even I have checked the XTA forums. No solution is working at all. Another solution I tried guys to replace stock recovery with the twerp and going inside the recovery and trying to uh, do a you know power off or reboot from there just in case I'm giving a try because uh, I heard some people have got this thing work around so as you can see it is still not working I'm just getting again a boot loop so the solution also not working. Another possible way is to go and try inside this twerp and whether trying to clear caches working or not for example Dalvik and this cache stuff and again going to do a reboot system from there but unfortunately that thing is also not working I tried them a lot I got this problem today when I tried to reboot my sim card and putting some another network so I went inside the boot loop so I just thought to give it undo here maybe if I remove my memory uh, the sim card and try to reboot my device again so just in case guys but that stuff uh, also doesn't work so as you can see it's pretty much on the same condition so guys my device is completely turned off so that wasn't working we tried for the drop thing and i just left it as it is i didn't saw what happened i just took the device after a few hours so just going to turn that on i'm assuming uh, this battery was completely dried off and i have the charger too I'm just going to turn on let's see what happened to our boot loop issue whether it is booting or not so it's booting up and let's see whether we got any juice left or not so nothing is happening i just felt the vibration it again reached up and uh, i don't know guys what to do maybe i'll just go and reset anyway guys that's been it for the boot do problem with the Nexus 6 p no solution as of now even the Google and Huawei don't know the solutions they are not willing to refund at all so if you're a lucky guy your Nexus 6 p is working fine then enjoy it otherwise uh, I know if, if I'm going to do a complete hardware factory reset it's going to boot it up so that was the only solution I'll give you guys a try and if that works I will make a new update video so that's been it thank you for watching I'll talk to you next video guys a quick update and I, I just uh, again the time I, I was uh, talking talking to you you can, you can see it's restarted and the battery was completely dried off that's why I still have one percentage left so uh, that was the possible solution I guess you have to just leave a device in that way if that turns off itself and if you can see 
you can just restart it properly it's gonna work so that's how guys this is going on for the Nexus 6 reboot loop in case you have that problem you can just uh, try in that way just leave your device as itself until the battery goes off and after that once you got device booted up don't turn it off don't restart you know just keep your phone topped up so see you guys in the next video have a great day